Welcome to YouTube News. My name is Kyle Marshall. There is so much stuff that I want to talk about this week. Let's start with the Harlem Shake. Now, if you haven't seen at least a single Harlem Shake video, you're either living under a rock or just not trying. Everybody and their dog has made a Harlem Shake video, and because of this, this week, Billboard started tracking YouTube views as part of their, you know, top 100 Billboard list, which tracks the most played songs of the week. And Harlem Shake shot up to number one because of all of the traffic that YouTube is bringing to this song. This is pretty big news as far as the music industry and the online video industry go because as more people watch music videos online, as more and more people use music in the background of their videos, we talked last week how Universal Music has signed a deal with certain studios to now be able to use their music in online videos. So I can see how this is gonna skyrocket certain songs up to the top of the charts as more and more people kind of go away from listening to it on the radio because quite frankly, who even has a radio nowadays? Be honest. You, you that just raised your hand, you're old. Stop watching this video. Talking about the olds and not understanding what's going on, One Direction released a video this week. Yes, those nubile young men who I don't have an attraction for at all, uh, released a video in honor of Comic Relief. Comic Relief, if you're not aware, is this British charity, or this UK charity to be more specific, that kind of raises money for children in need. As much as people hate on One Direction, doing this is, is a great thing. And I just want to know people's opinions on, even if you do not like somebody, if they're willing to donate some money to charity or donate some proceedings of a song or a single or album or whatever they're doing to charity, does that change your opinion of them at all? Does that make you respect them a little bit more, even if you don't like their music? The video is actually really fun. I'm going to link to it down below in the description, which Obviously, they need more views than the 14 million that they have currently, which is probably doubled by the time that I've made and uploaded this video. But go and watch it. It's fun. It's silly. It's, you know, cute. And after watching the video, I'm kind of uncertain. What do you think is hotter? Is it Zane or is it the Jazz Square that they do? Now on to captions. If you're English speaking, obviously you can understand what I'm saying most of the time if I'm not mumbling my words. But for a vast majority of the world, they don't speak English, so how can they enjoy this video? Well, there is a captions feature that you can do. Up until now, you yourself had to actually create captions in different languages, or you had to get your friends who knew a different language to do the captions for you, but not anymore. You can actually now pay a company to do the captions for you, and this is very, very important. If you're not somebody like the Vlog Brothers who have this team of nerd fighters around them that will just do this for them, that will just translate it into different languages and will go through all of their like hundreds and thousands of videos to do all the translations for them, that's awesome, but if you are not, and if you're looking at trying to grow your channel or grow your brand into other countries, you're gonna have to do this. Translation bleeds really well into our most subscribed list this week. It's changed up a little bit since last time we saw this. Jenna Marbles has now gone into number three. I will say this, I'm gonna call it right now. In a couple months time, just based on the amount of subscribers that Jenna Marbles is gaining every week, we're gonna see Jenna Marbles hit number one and will be the first female to do so, which is kind of exciting as long as she doesn't call anyone else a slut. Look at number 10. Hola, soy Jumin. I, that's my, I can't, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible human being. But he is from Chile and is the number 10 most subscribed YouTuber on the site. And there's also other people. There's Monsieur Dream from France who's climbing up the charts fairly well. And remember Lady 16 Makeup that we talked about a few weeks ago and I had not actually looked at her videos? She is from Mexico and she's screaming up the charts right now. Makeup tutorials are doing very well on YouTube in general, but she in particular is doing that. All three of these people speak another language other than English, but they're gaining so much traction, not only in their home countries, but from around the world. These are all the news stories I have for you this week. Please subscribe if you want to. Down below, there's a comment section where you can talk about all the videos not all the videos, all the things I talked about here this week. Please let me know what you think about that. Also let me know any new stories or anything that you think I should be talking about. And next week, I'll see your lovely faces. Well, you, I won't. You'll see my lovely face. And I'm just going to imagine a lot of Zayn Malik's looking back at me. Maybe Harry's. Definitely not Liam's. This week, we have so much stuff to get to, so let's get to it right away. I hate when people say that, though. Let's get to it right away. 